Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brewmon's Digi Glitch here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today to showcase a brand new deck of the for the channel. It's one of the decks that's super strong. It is kind of like a meta deck, but it's it's a really good deck to show and it's just good to see what it can do. Um, we do I am calling it the Shinies. So for those that have any kind of idea what it is, it is Shine Greymon. And it is super strong. Yeah. Um, but before we get into it, guys, I remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. It really just takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also, on our Patreon, you'll find links to like our decks early. You'll find all kinds of other helpful stuff for everything that you need. So, with that, let's delve into the shinies. So, first up, we have our first Digi Egg, which is Koopamon. When attacking, if you have five or more security cards, draw a card. This is your inherited. It's kind of nice. It's not really a guaranteed, but it is a thing. Yep. The next one is Upamon, uh, level two egg, of course. And the inheritance says, when attacking, once per turn, if you have three or more fewer security cards, trigger, draw one, which is pretty good. Yeah, and that's going to happen a lot more than you think. Just crazy. Uh, next is our first rookie. It is Sukaimon. He is a two drop, 3,000, and he digivolves for zero. He's just an easy digivolver. That is what he is for. Next is Salomon, the four cost uh, two power thing with a Digivolve of two. It's a level three. And then on deletion, if you have three or fewer security cards, trigger recovery one. So you just, what? But the t so you basically get a security, which is yeah, pretty good. Yeah, and he Digivolves for his pre. Yeah, yeah. You said two. Oh, he's did a I? Level two. He's a level two Digivolve. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, he's super strong because he's just your little rookie that's like, hey, I need to get memory back cause, or uh, security because I'm dying. Cool. Yeah. Run him into something. <laughs> Done. Uh, next is Lapmon. He's a three drop 2000. Uh, Digivolves for zero on play. Look at the top three of your security stack. You may add one to your hand, trigger, draw one. Yeah. So he gets to look at the top card of security and you're like, I need that. It's in my hand. Cool. Thanks. Done. Uh, next one is our boy Patamon. He is a three drop 1000 power. Uh, level three and with a digivolve of zero so he has an inheritance of your turn <clears throat> once per turn when an opponent's digimon is deleted by dropping to zero uh you gain one memory which is pretty awesome and in this deck it's gonna happen quite a bit yep next up is ankleomon he is a five drop four thousand he is a level four and he digivolves for two and his ability is on for security at the end of battle, play this card without paying its memory cost. So if he gets hit on security, he comes into play like a card would. Oh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty awesome. Terui, Teruimon, pretty mm -hmm. much. Our level four, six cost uh, Digimon has six power and its Digivolve is one. And he's just a plain Jane little guy. Yeah, but his Digivolve is one. That's yeah, why yeah. he's used because it, it's you're, one. You're paying one to draw a card. It's good. Yeah. Uh, next is Unimon. He is a five drop, 6,000 uh, Digivolves for two. It is a yellow blocker and it, it attacks you lose two memory, but it's just a blocker. That's what it's for. Which is very, very prevalent and not much in many co colors. Uh, Sirenmon, of course, is our level five, a five drop with six uh, power. It Digivolves for two and that's all it does. Mm -hmm. uh, next is another level five, Rise Greymon. He is an eight cost, 7,000. He Digivolves for three, which is what you're gonna do most of the time. When Digivolve, you may play a yellow tamer card from your hand without paying its memory cost. Any on play effects do not trigger. Huh. So he gets to Digivolve and give you free tamers, which is really what you want for Shine Greymon. And then his inherited is your turn. While you have three or more yellow tamers in play, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. Not too bad. So if you're having a lot of tamers, which you will, you get to have security attack. Uh, Shakomon is the next one, our level five. It costs eight with seven power. It does have a Digivolve of three. And your turn. Your Digimon is treated as blue opponent's turn as your opponent's Digimon with no Digi, Digi, Digi Evolution cards gain security attack minus one. If you saw our brawls, this thing is very, very powerful. Yeah, this dude can annihilate things pretty just, hard. Especially if you do not ever have security attack plus one in your deck, then you just basically lose till you kill that thing. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Yeah. Uh, next is Angel Woman. It is a six drop, uh, 7,000 power, it Digivolves for three. When did you vomit? If you have three of security or less, you recover one. So it's just helpful. Slash Angel Mon. It's a level six. It costs 11 with the power of eight. It digivolves for three. When digivolving, uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 8,000 uh, for the turn, and that will pretty much kill a lot of things. Yeah. And then our boy for the deck is Shine Greymon. He is our Mega, and he costs 12 and 11 power. He digivolves for four, which is what you're doing. Yeah. When digivolving, suspend all of your yellow tamers for, and then for each tamer you suspend this way, activate the following of Bill Effect. 
Minus one of your opponents or one of your opponents Digimon gets minus four thousand for the turn. Uh, your turn, this Digimon gets plus one plus one thousand for each tamer you have in play. Nice. So, so you're just killing things. If you have lots of tamers, you get to kill all their dudes, and that's it's kind of it, it gets really gross. Uh, the spell we have is Glorious Burst. It costs nine. Reduce the memory cost of this card in your hand by one for each yellow tamer you have in play, which is awesome. Mean one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12,000 uh, for the turn. It doesn't have a security though, so that's something to look out for. All right, our first tamer is TK Takashi. It is the four drop one from the first set. Start of your turn, if you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. Mm -hmm. On play, you look at your security stack. You can reveal one in, your hand, in it and put it to your hand. If that card is yellow, trigger recovery one. And his security so is you get to play him. He is one of the best tamers for yellow, and it's the, like the bread and butter of this deck because you get to be like, cool, I need that card from my deck. That's ridiculous. Uh, Kari, uh, Kimia, uh, cost three, tamer. Start of your turn, you have three or, security, uh, three or fewer security cards. You gain one memory so just to be able to help you there. And her security is she's in the play. And with Kari and TK, you get to stack them because you control both triggers. So you're like, cool, I go to three first, and then I get more memory. Nice. Uh, and then the next up, we have the other TK. He is a two drop. Uh, opponent's turn, all of your security Digimon get plus 2,000. He's just there to help you get your dudes something stronger and to give you another yellow tamer. And he has the same ability to play from your security. Nice. Overall, this deck is really, really strong. Like, I will not like dog on it for that. It's just this deck gets to win out of nowhere. Like, if it looks like it's losing, it's just like, not nah, cool. I'm going to win now. <laughs> yeah. You play one Shine Greymon and you get to control the board again and be like, I'm winning. It gets really old really fast, but it is what it is. Yeah, because I'm sure you don't want to, like, you have to build up your Digimon in your egg sec before you, if you do yeah. any early, then it's dead. Yeah, no, yeah. If you if you don't just have a way to protect it, it just dies. Yeah. But the deck is super fun, and was, the deck list will be down below. Give us a like and comment down below, and we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.